today we're incorporating a multi-phase approach to exercise. We're adding technical, technical, and ATSO training all into a large-scale exercise. So each day, each team falls into a new country and a new scenario where they'll be tested on all three levels. We've kind of incorporated what the JCSC Commanders and Technical Commanders Cup Challenges technical piece added with land nav, patrolling, and sea burning, chemical warfare situations, uh, particularly because that is a now big training push. So the helicopters is based off of real world scenarios built by Cadre who've been to the AORs on multiple phase. Even as airmen signed to the Joint Communications Support Squadron, we still represent JCSC who adds a wide variety of missions that we might be assigned to. So these airmen are getting a taste of what they will be like in the field on some of the missions that are assigned to this room. So the 290th Joint Communications Force Squadron is a Florida Air National Guard unit. We have a sister squadron in Georgia, and we're the only two in the entire Air National Guard. Uh, we were initially designed to support the Joint Communication Support Element, who is made up of two Air National Guard squadrons and also one reserve squadron plus the three active duty component squadrons. With the 290 Joint Communication Squadron Squadron, you don't just get an Air Force flavor. We are a joint unit and everything we do is joint. So it's just not the standard standard blue. You gotta be prepared for everything. And that's what we bring to the table. We are a multifaceted organization.